Hey guys, Uncle Ray, welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. On this channel, we cut through the hype and the noise, and I give you the non-biased information you can use to hopefully capitalize on the biggest opportunity in history, and that is this current bull run. Now, if you've been following this channel for a while, you know that I am extremely bullish on HBAR. I've been doing videos for over two years, and when I bought HBAR at four and five cents, I said it was the closest thing to a guarantee of a 10x in all of crypto, and the risk reward was phenomenal. And I came to that conclusion after doing deep dive after deep dive on all the projects, and HBAR came to the top of the list. I'm non biased, I don't care which project I buy, I don't care who's going to win. I just want to try to front run and make as much money as I can bull run to bull run. That being said, out of all the videos I've made about HBAR and Hedera, which has been extremely bullish, this is probably the most bullish video I've ever made. To me, this is the most bullish news we've had. And guys, I'm telling you, week in, week out, it's just bullish news after bullish news. Now, here's what, before we dive into this, all this great news, and it's a lot more than just one piece of news, but before we dive into it, I just want people to think about something. You know, over the last couple of years since I've been in crypto doing these deep dives, you know, a lot of the information you got to piece it together and you got to link it and it's kind of an educated guess and you go oh well you know this company is doing this well they have a relationship with xrp or they have a relationship with cardano or ethereum or hbar whatever and you had to kind of put the pieces together well here's the thing right now the leaders in crypto it's documented and you can see the adoption we're not having to guess and i'm telling you guys outside of the ethereum ecosystem hedera is killing it they are one of the leaders in tokenized assets supply chain management payments part of the news on this video is they're getting into gaming in a big way now here's what i want to bring to your attention before i give you all this good news is that Hedera just hit 50 billion transactions. You know, a lot of blockchains talk about how great their technology is and how they can scale. Well, Hedera is proving it. Guys, 50 billion transaction is more than all the layer ones, Bitcoin, Ethereum, HBAR, or XLM, XRP, uh, Cosmos, combined think about that and they're growing about a billion transactions a week if that's not impressive guys i don't know what else is now here's another thing you know it has very low cost transactions and in most of these blockchains when you look at how much money they are making it's minute because when you're only doing you know 10 million transactions that doesn't even equal, you know, $10,000, right? It's pocket change. But Hedera's getting to that level where it's already paying for itself and can survive without any outside help from the foundation and all that. Now, the foundation is still helping out and they're growing the ecosystem and all that. But the point is, you can see Hedera is probably going to be one of the very few blockchains that has a big future because they're not going to be able to sustain them, themselves because they're not getting the adoption this is right in front of us guys compare your favorite project i don't care what it is compare the adoption and uh, uh how much money they're making and how many transactions and all that who's using it and it probably will not compare to Hedera and HBAR. And the good news is when you hear something is 
partnered with Hedera, 100% they will be buying and having to use HBAR, period. That's not the case like with XLM. When they partner with MoneyGram, MoneyGram's not using XLM. They're using Stellar Rails settling with USDC, XRP Ledger. You build a side chain and have a, a token, you don't need XRP. The banks are not buying and stacking XRP to do cross-border payment. They're using Ripple Supply, or they're going to use the new stable coin, or they're using Ripple's liquidity pool. XRP is getting less and less needed for whatever that's worth. But the point about that is, guys, when you hear Hedera bullish news, it's bullish for HBAR. All right. That being said, I get a lot of my information from the HR, H bar bull. I watch it every week for a long, long time. It's two, three, four, five different developers that come in and out. Talk about all they do is just talk about what they're up to, what's going on. They bring on uh, different members from the governing council sometime. They talk to some of the high ranking guys up in Hedera Foundation, other developers. You know, uh, they bring on the companies that are building in the Hedera ecosystem, stuff like that. Now, I just listened to a podcast, the latest one, and I'll leave the, the link down below. And you only have to listen to probably the first five minutes uh, to get the information I'm going to share with you. But let's look at the title. Uh, HBAR Weekly Update. Satellites are in orbit to facilitate Hedera enabled Internet of Things payments worldwide. And guys, I'm going to break that out for you. And I'm really just going to rant away because I can't organize all this unbelievable information but i want you to understand the big picture i'll leave a link to that video and then i'm also going to leave you a link to an article that i'm going to refer to that being said before we dive into it hit that like button all right guys um before we dive more into the the big story i just want to bring some things to your attention like i said Hedera has just hit 50 billion transactions. It's crazy impressive. Gaming is starting to grow and grow and grow. They just had another gaming company launch and start to build projects on Hedera. And that's like the third or fourth one that I've talked about in the last couple of months. There's two credit unions that are this close to being able to onboard people into crypto legally with all the permits no sec issues no banking issues they're almost at the finish line now the cool thing about that is one of the biggest niches they're trying to uh, solve is one we know how hard it is to onboard right you got to go to your bank your bank qualifies you makes you fill out this bs then it gets to say coinbase coinbase drills you and then you got to figure it out from there well what they want to do is make it easy to onboard and bring your own money from your credit union into say a wallet and maybe skip the uh coinbases and the uh centralized exchanges and when you try to take your money out they're not going to drill you they want to solve that issue legally and they're just about there so that's really exciting now the other thing is if you're a crypto company or if you want to accept crypto or anything like that because of the legalities it's really hard well they want to solve that but check this out it's hard for a crypto company to borrow money to grow their business banks don't want anything to do with it well they want to step up and facilitate loans for crypto corporations and crypto companies guys that's pretty big news in my opinion and that could change the game and we need an easier better less scary way to onboard our own money into crypto. I hope they solve that problem. Now, this um, 
this news that I'm going to talk about is from a uh, corporation called Sills Cube. I guess that's how you say it. It is a NASDAQ traded corporation. Now, that's one thing I want you guys to think about. You know, Solana, for instance, not footing in a project. I just want you to understand what the difference between, say, a Solana or uh, an XRP or uh, a lot of different projects compared to Hedera. Hedera is not out trying to basically get me and you to buy and sell HBAR and, and use it that much. Yeah, they want that to happen. But what they know and what they have done from the beginning is they know, look, no matter if everyone that ever watched this video got together and bought Hedera and HBAR or built out a program, it's not a big deal. But when a company like this comes into the ecosystems and launches a token, which they are going to be, going to be called the SEAL coin, and if we can buy it, if and when, I'll let you know. But either way, you can buy Hedera or HBAR right now. But here's the thing. Guys, this is a massive corporation, a billion-dollar corporation, multi-billion-dollar corporation. And here's the announcement. It says, um, Sills Q, a leader in semiconductor PKI post-quantum technology development, today announced that it partnership with the Hedera Association, a Swiss-based organization at the forefront of global digital enablement, have launched a new digital asset built on Hedera Network that caters to the decentralized physical infrastructure network, DPIN, by enabling billions, billions, guys, of internet-connected devices to autonomously engage in seamless data and currency exchanges. Basically, guys, I'm going to try to simplify it as easy as possible. From my understanding, one of the many things they're going to do is, and as, as, according to the HBAR bullet, I guess they've already launched satellites. So they're building out a deep in ecosystem infrastructure, a deep deep in infrastructure with satellites to go around the world. And guys, everything, payments can go through it. Uh, supply chain management. You know, the Internet of Things is like when your uh, smartphone talks to your refrigerator, your refrigerator talks to the Internet, right? It's uh, self-driving cars talking to red lights, cars talking to other cars, uh, drones talking to airports, you know, that's the future, guys. They're building out the infrastructure of all of that through satellites, through the Hedera ecosystem, with them having to buy HBAR. And see, that's why HBAR has already created over $50 billion or billion transactions, not dollars worth, billion transactions. It's because, think about it, guys. When those cars talk to each other, those are going to be transactions, right? When your refrigerator orders from Walmart and the drone drops off your food in the future, that's going to just explode the transactions for Hedera. Guys, I'm not into um, investing past the bull run. I will sell everything. But if I had to hold something for 10 years, it probably would be HBAR. Now, to talk a little bit more, and by the way, all of this is quantum secure. It says, uh, under the umbrella of transactional Internet of Things, Silcoin is a hybrid payment and utility token for enabling billions of, of Internet-connected devices to engage in seamless data and digital asset exchanges. For example, Internet of Things devices for various companies can now interact and access a range of services as well as transactions. Let's see, it says Silcoin could facilitate seamless payments for services like energy consumption, maintenance, uh, humor, human intervention. The list of ap application goes 
on to include supply chain management, autonomous vehicles, smart cities, energy trading, and more. So you guys, here's the thing. You know, it's not just Hedera and HBAR out trying to grow its ecosystem. You have a corporation like this that is going to other corporations and their partners and their customers, and they're bringing this all together for them. And that's the cool thing about Hedera. When you see a company like Aberdeen uh, just killing it with tokenized assets, and I can't think of the other company that is leading the charge in supply chain management, they are they are pioneering that to at, give to other big enterprise companies. And that's why it's going to be so explosive. Guys, me and you don't matter. It doesn't matter how much we use Solana or, or a blockchain or how much we make payments. It's irrelevant, right? When you talk about real world utility, I don't think there is a better blockchain that has more adoption and more real world utility. As you can tell, I'm extremely bullish. Now, here's the good news. And I've said this in a number of videos in the past. You know, if you're on the governing council of Hedera, you are building a project. We don't know what that project is, but they're going to keep coming out. Projects like this are going to keep being announced all through this bull run. So I expect, you know, HBAR to just keep going higher and higher and higher. I'm a firm believer it will be changing gears when it takes out its all-time high. I've said that to day one, but some people are saying it's going to go to a dollar, to fifty, five dollars, ten dollars. Hey, I'm not placing that bet for this bull run, personally. But just like today, guys, this is massive news. I don't know any news that really is more bullish. Now we've heard some so-called bullish news of like, say, what Ripple has partnered. It really had nothing to do with, say, XRP. But that's not the case. This is extremely bullish. And guys, I left off as much bullish news as I've given you. I'm telling you, do your own research and you'll be as bullish on HBAR as I am. Now, that being said, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. And if you need some help with your portfolio, need someone to take a look at it, get a better understanding of how to compare tokens or learn the dollar cost average out or in or whatever, I'm here to help you get a game plan. It's only $250 for three phone calls or Zoom calls. I think it'll help you out a lot. All right, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Hit the like button and come back and be part of this community. Take care.